Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, this will be a short one, unfortunately. I have to sleep in a couple of, you know, minutes or hours, I don't know. Oh, maybe an hour. So, yeah. We are back. We are back for another Hauntai Star Rail video. And in this one, well, let's just say that uh, we are in the dreamscape now. And uh, we are back with, uh, well, we haven't seen her. But uh, yeah, I was able to get her. Firefly. Oh dear, dear, sweet fly, fly, firefly. Yeah. You should... I mean, you should know that I have mained the team... Uh, which one is it? Might be this one. Yeah. So, you should know that I mained this, this team with Atron, uh for a while now. But the fact that Firefly is so omnipresent in this whole uh, uh, story, I had to properly showcase. But yeah, um, we are the Dream Jewel Tell Story. I have to collect ingredients for the drinks, so uh, let's get right on that. Oh, by the way, before I even continue. Uh, hey, look yeah. at all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. Um, I can only imagine how intense that scene must have been. Nah, it turned out to be a landslide victory. That being said, opening a bar in this place, filled with monsters, is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? <laughs> You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. Recipe High States. The poker dame continued reaching the fourth round. The man did not stop himself from checking his hand. His confidence has long since wavered. A true gambler won't hesitate to crawl, even if the chances of winning are impossibly small. The young man on the opposite side of the table snickered, pushing all the strips forward. All in. Being content is a virtue for mortals, whereas hesitation is a fatal flaw for gamblers. True that. But yeah. It turns out, last time, um, a lot of things happened, uh, whether it be on from the side of the Astro Express crew, or from the, you know, Venturing's point of view. So yeah, um, as I mentioned last time, um, we were uh, trying to get near the Captain of the Bloodhound family, uh, but didn't know that it was didn't know his name, so you know, that's why they, they called him Chapton and not Gallagher. But it, it was Gallagher, I think. Um, and yeah, uh, it was quite interesting. Um, I believe that. Um, uh, Atron will shed sad stories, and uh, yeah, they saw as well uh, the Trailblazer clutching, clutching tuning effects first hand. Oh yeah, let's do then. <laughs> Soul Glad, but I thought they didn't sell Soul Glad at the bar. Yeah, <laughs> let's give it a shake. Nice, it's still fizzy, and has a long shelf life. That's possible. 
You see Soul Glad everywhere these days. So it wouldn't be a surprise if someone brought a bottle here. Yeah. Why don't they sell Soul Glad in this bar? Did something happen? Maybe. It's all about the bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Yeah, we should know, okay, Mimicho, I mean... Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himeko. Oh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. <laughs> Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Uh-huh. What's all the commotion about? Wait, class is so lit. Found the recipe. When it comes to soul glad, classic means the best. Despite three attempts to modify the formula, the soul glad company was compelled to return to the original recipe to do complaints from satisfied customers each time. Our double blind tests show that over 70% of customers failed to discern the difference between the new formula and the original one. Vestigy the promotion. Okay. Who's that? <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. Hmm. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. Shack. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Panacone, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. Okay. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just... one moment. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Sure don't. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? How come even you, Himitro? Time is running out. We need to hurry. Yeah, I'm <sighs> counting on you. Okay, music to my ears. That's what I've been waiting for. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. Hmm. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Unless the customers the monsters themselves. Siobhan just said anything to be imbi imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different potions can brew, what different drink ingredients. Try reading her thoughts. Let's see. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy, longing to shine but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance because I'll never be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past. And you have no clue how radiant she used to be. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill 
was unmatched. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. Fionn, spirit will miss a bit in this and sweetness and turn my sea. It's a moment that the motion turns into fill liquid filling the droplet. She's still not leaving. Maybe I'll have to try again. Yeah. Uh, recipe eternal endurance. Um, insufficient active ingredients. Experiment failed. Astrala frustrated by, by his 100, uh, 106,000 first failure randomly poked at the terminal developing a new position poison formula proved to be much more challenging than anticipated if he couldn't produce results by tomorrow his mind was overwhelmed with worry leading him to not trouble the uh, test tube right on the table likewise from 200 unidentified containers midst releasing a pungent odor the 106 Thousand second attempt result successful. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. I've seen it. The moment. When Siobhan and I share the stage, the crowd is going wild, applause crashing like waves, the aroma of irises fills the air, a beautiful melody playing, ribbons dancing around us, and the taste is sweeter than honey. I've seen that scene countless times in my dreams and every time it mesmerizes me that's why i have to bring her back to that world no matter what it takes <sighs> want to raise a glass my attentive listener let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream Energy poet, picture white grapes, so that to your tall glasses, the right direction. Clicked. She's ah. still not leaving. Maybe I'll have to try again. Yeah, I mean. Picture white grape soda. The soda made of fermented white grapes tastes both sour and bitter. And bitter. It serves as, a, as an exceptionally Vitalizing remedy for summer heat and consuming it often results in sneezing and a runny nose. Relating to those who have tested it, it feels like a cold hand pressed against your cheek or your neck. Pikachu. Alright. I just last don't one. get why she won't leave this place. You know what it is. She has to be angry. A little bit of anger. Those darn Iris jerks! Uh, they're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I, I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. My thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. 
Amaki has left? Yep. <sighs> That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. Okay. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. All right. Continue collecting greetings for the drinks. Don't say. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. Oh, what should we exchange for it? And who should we give our stuff to? Huh. Are you for real? Hey, what are you doing? You can't just throw trash. Uh, no way. The words on the note are changing. Happiness is the dream of the humble. Uh, does this mean we can take it? Something feels weird about this. Bright future. One day we'll have a real house with a cup of coffee in her hand, your wife says. We'll have a yard when we can grow flowers, a hall where we can dance, an inspiring attic where we can gaze at the stars, and ideally, a small dog to cuddle and fall asleep with. That would truly be the truly blissful life. You smile in silence, propose a toast. The warm vapor swirls and scents, gently charcing the ceiling before dissipating. The bright future insists only in dreams. that we're not forgetting any type of ingredients that might be useful. Oh, see? Uh, check out this bottle! The liquid inside looks beautiful! And the label reads... Dream Syrup. Thick. I don't see an expiration date, but the production date is... half an amber era ago! Ugh, drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good, that's for sure. Ugh, that's true, but this really doesn't seem fresh. Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years and should have a refined taste by now. Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. Ugh. Then we'll keep it for now. Alright. Recipe Dream Syrup. A unique creation from Panagoni. The syrup serves as a non addictive tranquilizer, offering an ineffable experience of serenity and delight for a certain duration. Its manufacturer claims this syrup has all benefits of religion and alcohol without any of the drawbacks. Alright. I've got everything, so it's time to talk to the Gallagher now. 